Recently, Honor 70 made its international debut and we were pretty lucky to quickly get our hands on the global model. Since we reviewed the Magic 4 Pro, a pretty decent premium model, we were looking forward to the Honor 70, marketed as an upper mid-range device. So we reviewed the phone at the first instance and here are our impressions. The phone we have is a mirrored black color model which best emphasizes the premium feel of this phone and to be honest, the black model doesn't look like one of those mid-range models with compromised build quality. It integrates some of the classic design features of the high-end Honor series, such as the curved screen, the more palm-fitting frame design, and the very integrated feel from the front to the back. Another pleasant surprise is that it is lightweight. It doesn't have a large camera module like the Magic 4 Pro, which in turn allows the phone to keep its weight down to 181 grams. However, this doesn't mean that we didn't have fun with its cameras. On the contrary, its camera performance still could be the reason you buy this phone. We will talk about it later. The dual circle design of the camera setup is reserved on the new Honor 70. What's slightly different from its predecessor is that the circles are not joined on an elevated island. But it doesn't change the fact that the camera module has a significant bump. I didn't particularly like the design, but it did stick with me right away. And the glossy glass cover easily collects fingerprints, but the good news is that it can hide these fingerprints from your view at certain angles, so it won't be as annoying as the other glossy models. Unlike the curved bezels on both sides, the top and bottom are flat, there's only a microphone on the top, and the bottom SIM card slot is available to load dual SIM cards with a 5G network. As you can see, there's only one speaker at the bottom and no headphone jack available, and we couldn't find an official description about its waterproofness, so maybe it's better to keep it away from water. For a promised IP rating, you can check out the Magic 4 Pro, which support IP68 waterproof rating. The front face is covered with a 6.67 inch, 120Hz edge curved OLED display. The FHD Plus display looks great with wonderful colors and has a smooth visual experience with fast response. We can hardly even tell the difference between it and some premium models through the naked eye, but it's still not a screen supplied by Samsung. It's quite surprising that other suppliers have caught up with the Samsung display, no matter for its panel colors or functions. From the app DRM info, we learned that the phone is compatible with the wide vein L1 level, so there's no problem watching HDR content on platforms like Netflix. In addition, the display also supports 1920 Hz high frequency PWM dimming, which is probably the best eye protection solution available for OLED screens. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 788G Plus chipset. The chipset has pretty good power efficiency and good heating control due to TSMC's 6 nm processing. Through its peak performance, doesn't compare to the Snapdragon 870 chip. From the benchmark result, we can see that Honor's tuning of the chip is not bad, and there's roughly a 10 to 22% performance gap between them. The main difference comes from their graphic computing, but according to the gaming result we got here, the gap is not that significant. Whether in PUBG Mobile or Genshin Impact, the Honor 70 could release the full potential of the chip. For PUBG Mobile, the gaming experience is almost the same as what we had on most flagship models, while for accessing the smoothest gaming experience in heavy games like Genshin Impact, we would not suggest playing under the highest graphics. But a surprise is that the Honor 70 has the best heat control among all the phones we tested. Even when running the extreme test in 3D Mark, it maintains excellent performance stability with no throttling. As for software, Honor's global model has all the Google services ready for global users, and there are over 40 system languages supported on the phone. Plus, the 120Hz display performs very close to Huawei phones in terms of system stability and smoothness. There's no notification missing issue that we had on Vivo models, and it also has good management of multiple apps running in the background and I barely experienced the issues of apps being forcibly shut down. So it performs very close to Huawei software in terms of system stability and smoothness. And coupled with the free Google services and apps, I think the global version of Honor's Magic UI is almost the best Android-based software I've ever experienced. The Honor 70 is equipped with three rear cameras and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The triple setup includes a 54 megapixel main camera a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, and another depth sensor. The main camera is driven by the debut IMX800 sensor, which has a fairly large size featuring 54 megapixel resolution even when compared with those special camera phones. Combined with the Honor Image Engine, the great camera hardware offers decent light capture and is able to reproduce rich details with good purity, especially for the shadow part. 
But sometimes when shooting high contrast scenarios, the dark areas of the images might be too bright to give a proper contrast. But the good news is that it always has good exposure for the overall image without losing details. The wide angle lens is not as aggressive as the main camera over exposure and it also reserved pretty decent detail with its 50 megapixel sensor. However, like the other wide angle lenses, it sometimes also suffers from fringing issues. Although the phone doesn't equip its zoom lens for long shot, the 2x digital zoom images also look good with decent colors and detail. For night shooting, the large sensor gives great power to the main camera. Even in extremely low light conditions, it could significantly improve the overall brightness. Although the wide angle lens is less stable than the main lens, there are still great optimization that the image engine brought to the wide angle samples. But due to the lack of OIS, if using the night mode, there's still a risk of getting blurred images caused by hand shaking. And there's a creative feature for video shooting, which is called the solo cut. It enables real-time focus tracking for selected portraits and creates dual clips at the same time. One is about the whole picture you shoot, and the other one is solo clip that is generated by the figure tracking mode. As we mentioned, there's a single loudspeaker available on the Honor 70, but it doesn't sound as bad as I thought, so just check it out here. The lightweight phone amazingly features a 4,800 mAh large battery with a 66 watt fast charging, which took us 45 minutes to finish charging tests. And supported by the large battery, it's pretty easy for the phone to last for whole day use. You can check out more details about the battery here. So that's all about the Honor 70. It's good to see the mid-range model incorporated some of the great features on the flagship Magic Fold Pro. The complete software experience and the premium design would easily make it stand out in its price segment. What's even more surprising is that it dares to use a flagship level camera sensor here and another 50 megapixel wide angle camera. That said, it's definitely not perfect as it has quite obvious drawbacks, such as the single speaker used here and the less powerful chipset. So do you like the international version of the Honor 70? Please tell us your thoughts about the phone in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Will from Christmas China. See you soon.